What are you talking about? That's the name of our first round. It's our panellist's job to guess the British public's top five most popular talking points. Sean Steen, what do you think the nation have been talking about this week? Um, I think people have been talking about Guy Fawkes Night. Did you, did you go to a bonfire? No. I, I don't really like fireworks. I think they're like looking at views. Just boring after a while. <laughs> yeah, views. Yeah. I mean, the whole eye is overrated as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> You don't like views. But listen, you go out and then you've got to look at the photos and you go, this is great. And then three minutes in, you think, I'm bored now. I'm cold. <laughs> and then you're stuck there. Sean, is it a big night in your house? Do you do the bonfires? Yeah, I, like, I like the bonfire thing. I mean, I had to take the RSPCA's advice uh, quite seriously because they said you should check under, the, under your bonfire for sleeping hedgehogs. And I couldn't find any, but luckily I had some in the freezer. So. <laughs> <laughs> Sorted. <laughs> yeah, sure. I, um, I think I look like Guy Fawkes because um, the people on our road did an effigy and it really looked like me. <laughs> <laughs> They'd done it on our road, it was right in front of my house. It was, it was, it was kind of in my front garden. <laughs> They'd even used like a photocopy of my face. <laughs> and they were like chanting, Weirdo out, weirdo out, weirdo out, which must be like a traditional chant or something. <laughs> John, do you, did you go to a fire with this play? It was a landmark year for me. This was the first year when I couldn't even be bothered to go to the window to look. <laughs> <laughs> How, Usually, I mean... if I hear some, I'll go and have a look at my neighbour's fireworks. But this year, I just thought, nah, I'm enjoying Gogglebox. <laughs> <laughs> I think anyone who pays an entrance fee to a bonfire display doesn't understand what the sky is. <laughs> Like, two pound in, I'm gonna stand on that car over there and play with my two pound that I've just saved. <laughs> Taunt them with it. Yeah, just... <laughs> <laughs> the best firework display, I think, in history was in Scotland a couple of years ago. It was meant to last half an hour, but due to a technical hitch, all the fireworks went off in under a minute. <laughs> oh, my word. Let's have a look. This was meant to last half an hour. to the window for that, wouldn't you, John? I would have, yeah, if I'd have heard Armageddon outside my <laughs> window. Just imagine being there thinking, oh, how are they going to follow this up? It's <laughs> hard <laughs> oh, <they're> not. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to have seen the guy's face who lit them all and at the end just <laughs> stood there, just like that. I don't know, I don't know. Yeah, would you try to stop them? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon he just wanted to beat the traffic. He just sat and just ran to his car. <laughs> Let's have a look and see if Firework Night is up there.